So, you wanna make a flag? Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to create a flag in Blender 2.8, um, or really, this will work with anything, the GUI might be a little different, but anyway, um, I, I have a little bit of a basic scene set up here, I have two lamps, I have a sun lamp, um, set to a very slight yellowish color, and then down here I have an, uh, an area lamp set to square with a really huge size, um, with a little bit of a slightly blue color. Um, also set to 10. Uh, then I have a little uh, uh, a cylinder here. I hit Shift A, added a mesh. A mesh was a cylinder. Hit S to scale it down. Scale it down about right there. S, Z to scale it on up. And then we got something like that. So that's pretty much it. And then the last thing I have is a um, is a field, which I just hit Shift A. And then we went ahead and gone to Force Field. We got Wind. Let me just get rid of this one. Uh, where is it at? There he is. Uh, wind, I hit R to rotate it a little bit. And then G to move it up, over, right about there. And then down here in the force field settings, I'm just going to bump that up like super high <laughs> for no reason. Uh, well, not for no reason, but I'll show you in a second. Maybe not that high. There we go. All right, so uh, now we can get started with the actual flag. Hit Shift A on my uh, on my keyboard. Go to Mesh Plane, RX 90 to rotate that 90 degrees on the X axis. GX to move it on the X axis uh, about right there. And then G, Z to move it up, about right there. Looks good so far. We hit period on my keyboard so I can uh, scroll into the plane a bit easier. We hit S, X to scale it up about like that. Then G, X to move it over. Tab to go into edit mode and we will uh, create a loop cut so this is a bit, so the so the subdivisions will be a bit more square-like instead of rectangle-like. So loop cut right there. We'll just uh, click right there in the center and uh, yeah, that's fine. And we'll hit this little lasso tool right here. Go back to regular viewport, regular selecting. Sorry, um, then hit A to double tap, uh, double tap A to select everything. Right click, subdivide. Right click, subdivide. Right click, subdivide. Right click, subdivide. Um, and that, was, that looks good so far. Uh, tab to go back out of edit mode. Now we can get started with the actual stuff. So um, we can go down here to the physics tab like we were in before, and we can go to cloth. Click cloth, and now you can see we're gonna have some stuff you know pop up here. Um, but uh, let's just go ahead and go backwards. <laughs> go back to the first frame instead of the second one. Um, now you can see. Let me. Well, let me. Let's do this again. I have some. Uh, I have some settings here already. So let's go ahead and actually, I'll just uh, copy all this stuff over. All right. So I copied everything to a new scene. Now we have the same exact stuff going on here. I want to just grab that plane, do that really quickly once again. And uh, the great thing about making this flag is that it's just really easy and it looks uh, really great really quickly. So I think. Um, Making flags are really fun. We did a uh, cloth tutorial back in the day, but that was a, a bit, it's a bit old now. So I figured we'd do another one. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that once more. All right, now we're back to where we were. So uh, we can go ahead and select this uh, these vertices in vertices select mode. We'll hold down shift and select the top two and the top bottom vertices. Now you can hold control for this. Uh, oh, no, sorry, shift for this, sorry. Uh, and we'll select the top two and bottom two vertices. We'll make sure we go to the... Um, to the object data tab, which is this little upside down triangle right here, go to vertex groups, hit the plus icon, and then just hit assign for those four vertices. Now uh, we can go back to the uh, physics settings here, enable cloth once again, nothing should move. Um, and then we can go down to uh, shape, yes I was right the first time, uh, and make sure in pin group we select group. Now this group is the group we just created, we can call this flag, nope, flag group. Yeah, no, no, that's a D. That's a P upside down. All right, flag group. All right, sweet. Now, if we hit play, you can see that uh, we have uh, settings here, which is nice. So everything works, and it looks beautiful, and it works just like a flag. We're done. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> we can go around and mess around with all of these settings here. We have the tension, the compression shear, uh, and bending for both the stiffness and the damping. Um, and we can change all of these around. Now, um, the bending is going to help us a little bit, so I'm going to put that down to 0.1. Uh, for both the stiffness and the tension, for the damping, sorry, um, and for the tension, for the stiffness, I'm going to put this on 5 for the tension on the stiffness, um, and we can also enable dynamic mesh, um, but like I said, as of now, we can, you know, we can stop, I'm, but the biggest thing, we're going to enable self-collision, the reason I chose to do this last is because um, it's going to cause a lot of lag, so if we play this, you can see uh, we're having some problems, it's colliding with itself, um, if I were to turn the wind down so, uh, so put this in like 10 you can see that uh, it will go through itself 
you see it is going through itself which does not look the best so we can fix that by scrolling down and enabling self collision but the problem is it's going to cause a lot more lag um, because now it's colliding with every vertice of itself so it's not really the best thing but uh, one more thing we need to do is you can see that it's actually colli uh, colliding with the um, with the with the cylinder as well so we need to enable collision on our cylinder so we'll go ahead to the um, to the physics tab here enable collision and now uh, I'll just mess around with a, a couple of these settings here well, that's good the way it is so those those things are, the, are fine the way they are and on uh, on our uh, on our flag I want to also go ahead and enable collision so now they can collide with each other and they won't go through each other which is nice so we can hit play you can see um, it's looking pretty good. Let me turn that wind back up. So we'll turn it up to a thousand, like that, and it'll blow on out like that, which looks great. And um, I want to make sure that our flag is touching the pole. So we'll go ahead and hit G. Uh, y, we'll go to the first frame. Sorry, G X to make sure that that is touching. That looks good to me. So now we have that nice flag. Now you can see it's a bit chunky and blocky. So we'll go ahead and go up to. Let me find a good place to stop it at. That looks good. Um, we'll go up to object shade smooth and if you want even more smoothiness you can go ahead and go up to subdivision surface and bump that up to like uh, two is fine most likely um, alright so there we go we have a little bit of that flag going on and that looks great if you want to make sure that this the this edge over here is not rounded you can go ahead and let me get rid of this cylinder for a second we'll hide that hit H now in edit mode, hitting tab on our keyboard, we'll go to the flag and on this left hand on the left hand side, sorry, uh, hold down shift and alt to select the entire edge loop. Let me go over here and open up this panel right here and turn up the mean crease. Um, or what we can do is we can actually hit, we can undo that and we can actually hit uh, control B to bevel this edge. And you can't see it because I'm not on the right. On, we have to be on the first frame. Oh, this is not going to really work right. There we go. All right, so that looks good. Mean crease that and. Let's put the subdivision surface. Let's hide that for a second. And now we can grab those two as well. All right, so that looks good. Now you can see it's much more um, much more uh, sharp than it was before. Now we have to select these two vertices right here. That, I was wondering why that wasn't working. There we go. So those two right there we need to select as well. And then we increase all the way up. Or we can, like I said, um, bevel that. But we don't need to do that. All right, so... Uh, now that edge is a bit more sharp, we can hit Alt H to unhide our object, our cylinder. And if we want to make this a uh, different type of flag here, instead of just a flat, square, rectangle flag, we can select this top and bottom vertice right there. We can uh, hit O to turn on proportional editing mode. And up here at the top, we can change, change the fallout from smooth to sharp. Then hit G, X, and then just scroll our mouse wheel up or down to um, add more or um, take away some influence. And then just do something like that. Now we have a little bit of that, you know, classic other flag. Hit zero. My camera. Uh, just double tap R to move it around. G to move it. Um, and we'll play it. And now you can see we have a really nice flag animation. There we go. And uh, you can also add other um, other field weights, like other wind sources, by hitting Shift A and just adding force field. Turbulence is a great one. Force is a great one. So is wind. Vortex might not be so great for a flag. Um, void might be fine. But um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for our flag tutorial today. We can go ahead and turn on material mode. Go to shading. Use scene lights and turn the background up to about 0.3. And that looks great. Turn overlays off. and Give it a color. You know, the material tab. Select that material. Just change the color to like a reddish blue. I guess, a reddish blue. A reddish pink, I guess. Turn specular up, maybe specular tint. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Let me know what you guys want to see down below. And by the way, I just uh, made a post about it on the community tab. We just hit 9,000 subscribers. I want to thank everybody for that. That's really awesome. Um, can't wait to get to 10,000 and grow the community some more. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. But until then, bye bye.